In this video we are going to see how to collect the sponge and seeds from the ridge guard that are dry. The ridge guard plant produce lot of ridge guard vegetable. In this you can choose few for seeds. You can select a particular ridge guard and leave it for seeds and it takes 60 days for the ridge guard to mature in the plant. The ridge guard that you see in the left hand side which is little bigger that is what I have left for uh, collecting the seeds. Once it gets dry in the plant, the dry pods will look like this in yellow color. We are going to collect the seeds and sponge from this pod. Once it is dried like this, it's very weightless and it cannot be used for cooking. Leave it in the plant until it turns to this brown color. Don't harvest the green ridge guard and dry it. This will not give mature seeds. When you shake the pods like this, you can hear the sound. Uh, the seeds are inside the pod, so that makes the sound. We can easily take the seeds from this pod. At the bottom of the ridge guard, you will see this uh, sharp end, which you can break with your fingers. If it is hard, like in this pod, you can use a stone or hammer to break it. Once you open it, you will notice the hollow space in it. Shaking the pods will push the seeds outside. Take a plate or a container and keep shaking the dry pods. This will help you to get all the seeds from the pod. The number of seeds in one ridge card is based on its height and size. Uh, you get at least 100 seeds in a pod. Uh, in some pods that I have opened earlier, I got even more than 300 seeds. The seeds once taken out, it needs to be protected from the bugs. And place the seeds in the paper or in a glass jar and keep it in the dry and cool room. Instead of taking the seeds out and protecting it, just take the seeds from pod 2-3 uh, days before you plant. Uh, the seeds inside the pods are much safer because the bugs cannot easily they cannot break the pod. Next step is to take the sponge from the dry pod. Uh, to do this we need uh, water. Take water in a container and soak the dry pod inside it. Uh, take the water that is uh, required for uh, soaking the pod. The hole is already there at the bottom which we put uh, to take the seeds. We can break the top part little bit so that the dry pod will absorb more water faster. Let me add some more water so that the pod can be entirely pushed into the water. As we push the pod into the water, the air inside the pod is coming out. Initially we have to hold it tight so that the water enters inside the pod and makes the pod heavy. Once the pod is heavy it can absorb more water. It needs some more soaking in the water. I'm going to put it in the water whole night 
and will try peeling the skin in the morning keeping the stone or some other heavy object will make sure it's fully dipped inside the water it's morning now and the skin color has changed to dark brown that indicates that the skin is ready to be peeled now it will be very easy to peel the skin outer skin instead of peeling from top to bottom peel from the side so it will be easy to peel i'm using a knife to smooth and the sharp edges on the part so that we can peel it easily now 90% of the skin is peeled and you can see the fiber now the skin is peeled completely and this fiber part needs to be washed 4 to 5 times so that the gel substance in the fiber will go and we have to dry this for a day this water is good for the plants as the pod was soaked all night in this it has created a lot of microbes in it this is what i got after i dried it before i use it i am going to cut it into small pieces we can use the knife but it's bit hard to cut it uh, with the knife i'm trying with the scissor and it's easy to cut using the scissor inside the sponge this is where the seed was before we took it out you can cut it even little smaller for the children to use this sponge this sponge can be used for bathing as a scrubber as it cleans the dead cells in your uh, body and it also helps to prevent the skin diseases also this sponge can be used for cleaning vessels and dirt on the floor and this can be used for making any handcraft items the one that you are seeing now it has black color in it because once you use the sponge it needs to be washed and dried completely otherwise the fungus or bacteria will form in the sponge because the fiber part still acts as a food for the fungus and bacteria Thanks for watching this video please share subscribe and comment thank you